John Brown getting down with our history. Some agree with his actions to free slaves, but others did not. Let's see how it spun out. Who wasn't up with it? I'm here with Colonel Robert Lee giving his thoughts about John Brown. Five of the insurgents at this time have been harmless. At the threshold, one Marine fell mortally wounded. The rest, led by Lieutenant Green and Major Russell, quickly ended the contest. The insurgents that resisted were bayoneted. Their leader, John Brown, was cut down by the sword, Lieutenant Green. He's a fanatic, vain, and curious. Both sides. Abraham, can you tell me the about John Brown? Old John Brown has been executed for treason against the state. We cannot object, even though he agreed with us in thinking slavery wrong. That cannot excuse violence, bloodshed, and treason. But he was doomed from the beginning because he didn't have enough people. And the vast majority of people didn't know what he was about. It was a gamble. And uh, he lost, basically, because he didn't have the necessary uh, manpower, and uh, I don't think he counted on the reaction of the, the people in the town and at the armory. Sometimes you have to take action when all other actions fail. And for John Brown, he felt that the only thing that he could do was literally take some kind of action. Even if it meant violence, he felt that it required some action, action, action. Now to those who were with it, Do you think John Brown was out of line during the race? No, I don't think John Brown out of line. I think what he did, he should have done. Because if he didn't do what he did when he did it, we wouldn't be where we are here today. Where we are here today. Where we are here today. Grand, brave, little man. I could live with a slave if he could die. What you think? Don't jump to conclusions, son. Speak in your mind and get down with your history. Speak. TTYL